My groom walked the aisle in my shoes? My future mom-in-law took me for a waitress. A dress matching the tablecloth? Bring me coffee. Mom, meet Bella. We're getting married. Why does she look like a have-not? I'm an orphan, so I lived pretty modestly. But I never complained, and I truly loved Brad. Forget her. Here's a bride of suitable status, of shallow bimbos. My Bella is genuine. To ruin our wedding? Karen played a dirty trick. My cheap shoes hurt like hell. To help me walk down the aisle? Brad offered me his shoes instead of my heels. Nothing will ever stop me from marrying you. If anyone objects to this union, speak now. I do. <gasps> this lowlife stole our family pendant. Before I could open my mouth, I heard a crack. Because of my heels, Brad didn't jump in time. At first, I couldn't remember what happened. Please help. My head is killing me. Then I saw my beloved in the next room. He was in a coma. <laughs> Get out of here, you tramp. You're nobody to him. On my way out, I saw my shoes in the corner. Karen put a guard outside Brad's room and refused to let me see him. She threatened with jail over the missing locket. But nothing scared me. I knew Brad could hear me. Said my vows, since I didn't get to in church. I vowed to be with you in sickness and health. Running away from Karen, I didn't see that my beloved opened his eyes. After his coma, Brad didn't remember much. A girl was here. I know I love her. Who is she? Here she is. <gasps> her beauty put you in a coma. Brad saw my shoes and started to remember. I remember we swapped shoes. But I can't remember her face. As in Cinderella, Brad tried it on Stacy's foot. The shoe was too big for her. She's not the one. I've got to find my love. Meanwhile, I was keeping watch in the hall. I dozed off right as Brad walked by. Brad found the shop the shoes were from its sticker. They dug up and gave Brad my discount card info. This thief stole my pendant. You mean this one? On that day, I found a pendant in the bouquet and gave it to Brad at once. Instead of an invitation to our new wedding, Karen got pliers. The one she wanted to cut the chandelier cable with. So it would crush me, but the cable didn't budge. That's when Karen pulled the pendant trick. Unaware, her spite would put her son in a coma. Did your mother-in-law accept you right away? <laughs>